Hello, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. I'm Lucas, and I am joined tonight by Christian. What up? And Phil. Anna. I'm not Anna. Yeah. Yeah, Anna uh, was uh, feeling a little under the weather tonight, so uh, sh uh, we uh, got a got Phil to come on here. So, thanks, Phil. Yeah, You're appreciate welcome. you. Appreciate you joining us to talk some Transformers here. So, apparently, Tony is sharing our uh, stuff on some meme pages or something. So there cool. you go. Wait. Is it because we are a meme, or you just want people to see no, us? I think that I, it was like the Facebook algorithm or something was suggesting to share it or something. So, oh, anyway, cool. So. And the Facebook algorithm is always benevolent; it's infallible. So Randall says that we need to finish this up before the "What We Do in the Shadows" premiere. So I'm guessing that's at nine or whatever in like twenty minutes, or. It already happened. I don't know. I live on the East Coast, man. Things happen early here. Just, yeah, just go watch it... AP Bio. Just, just watch AP Bio instead. Not that what we do in the shadows is bad. It's awesome. The AP Bio is amazing. Yeah, what we do in the shadows is pretty great. I watched uh, the first few episodes of that AP Bio, and like, I didn't get into it. So, like, is it better after that? I guess. Yes. Like, okay. like season three, the first Peacock season was amazing. Um, yeah, it's it's an awesome show. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. Why why is it that every show is like this? It's like, all right, you got to trudge through the first two seasons, and after that, it's amazing. No, I, I I enjoyed it very early on, but I very much enjoy Glenn Howerton and especially enjoy Pat Oswalt. Um, so uh, yeah, Christian, are you unaware of what AP Bio is? I am totally unaware. AP Bio was a show that started on NBC, lasted two seasons on NBC, and then is now on their, their streaming service, Peacock. The premise is that Glenn Howerton from Always Sunny in Philadelphia uh, is a, uh, a down-on-his-luck Harvard philosophy professor who gets you know needs a job and ends up going back to his hometown of Toledo, Ohio, and is teaching the AP Bio class. And basically all of the, you know, each week is some new sort of scheme that he's doing to try and get back into teaching at Harvard and refusing to teach these, you know, accelerated uh, high school students, anything involving biology. Um, and, and the principal who is a pretty uh, bit of a, a well, well-meaning, but, but bit of a, a moron is played by Pat Oswalt. Do you like Pat Oswalt? Yes. Yes, it is. And it gets, like it starts off being slightly more grounded in reality, and then each season just gets more and more of like insane. And and this is how we go past the uh, you know thirty minutes or whatnot. It's That's yeah. talking, true. Talking about that kind of stuff. So, but uh, yeah, I'll have to check it out. Um, and then um, you know what we do in the shadows too. So, seems really interesting like i i've not actually watched that either so there we go so good anyway yeah. so tonight we are talking about a repaint essentially i guess um so yeah red alert it's red alert Woo! another red alert so it's the walgreens exclusive again except for we got it Ahead of time because we got it from Pulse, which was um, really strange. Yeah, without any fanfare, they they literally had a fan first Friday right before this went up and did not mention it, and it was just like, "Hey, it's here," and then we bought it, and now they're in our bits. Well, and initially it was like listed as Wheeljack too, right? <sighs> well, all of the page titles were Wheeljack for everything that day. Oh, okay. But it was listed correctly. Like everything on the page was correct, and the pages were just titled wrong. I got gotcha. you. Um, so yeah, we got red alert. So so yeah, there we go. I'm excited to rebuy the figure here. So okay, so this is the least rebuying we've done so far, because now he's got his Earth mode as opposed to Cybertronian mode. I gotta say though, 
it is less different than I thought it would be. Are you like excited that you get to rebuy the uh, non-F spoilers again? Uh, yes. I don't think I bought them last time. I bought them for Sunstreak. I don't think I bought them for oh, any of the okay. Cybertronian Sideswipes. So, but I'll probably uh, buy them for, for this one and for Sideswipe. Earth Mode needs it. So, so non-F uh, made uh, spoilers for... Uh, you know, for these guys, uh, for their siege modes. And since the molding is different on the new figure, you will not be able to use those. So if you purchase those thinking you could use it on this, you cannot. Yay. So. I'll probably grab them for this because I feel like the earth mode needs it more. But it also angles up more in the back than the Cybertronium mode did. So it kind of emulates the spoiler look, especially since this uh this lambo car that's actually based on has really low spoiler a lot of the time sometimes it's high like side swipes but sometimes it's low like sunstreakers i don't know it looks cool to me well i'm really curious with this too because i mean this is pretty close to a lambo right like are they are they getting away with like not having it licensed like because so far i don't know man it's pretty darn close you it's really far interesting. closer than the, the Siege molds were. Oh, it is very much closer than the Siege molds were. Because of the color layout here, and I guess the part layout here with this black, and then they match it here with that black paint, the sides of the car don't really look red alert to me. They look, look like another Lamborghini friend. They look like Clamp Down to me. Yeah, I was going to say Clamp Down. Yeah. But this is very clearly red alert. This is clamped down. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that part, like, there was, like, the huge red stripe on uh, the other mold, on the Siege mold, so. Yeah, I, I think it just has to do with this black plastic here, which forms the um, shoulders in robot mode. Yeah. Maybe it's unpaintable plastic. I don't know. It's weird and glaring, just like it was before, but, yeah, it's fine. What is less fine to me is this color mashing right here. I don't know if you guys have it as bad as I do, but this white paint, this white plastic, do not match. Like yeah. they don't, they're not, even, they're not even really that close. And I, I'm not yeah. a vehicle mode display guy, so I'm not going to see it a lot. But to see it like this is like, oh wow, that's really not close. I don't think I noticed it before you just pointed it out right now, Christian. I, I would say. It's not been as glaring to me. Granted, I've had mine more in robot mode. I would say it's far less glaring than Sunstreaker. Right. I agree, except I feel like Sunstreaker doesn't look so bad in person. It's horrible in photos. But in person, it's not so bad. And this isn't either. I was mistaken a minute ago. I, I pointed the wrong direction. This is white plastic. This is white paint. I reversed it. Paint. Plastic. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, I don't know. I guess for me, I don't really notice it that much. But in robot mode, you can't really notice it. Right. It's fine. So that's all I've got in vehicle mode, though. This is what it is. It kind of looks like clamp down. It is definitely red alert. The back, no spoiler, but kind of elevated thing looks cool. He's got the siren piece, which is in a five millimeter port and you can remove it it's like that thank you do you have mm -hmm. um a side swipe or uh or sun streaker in vehicle mode to, to compare it to i do not okay so he does Tony have was mentioning though. how hard sun streaker was to get compared to a lot of the other ones and did that wave show up at Ollie's or is it showing up at Ollie's? Be um, man. Yeah. Cause that whole wave, I feel like with, uh, what was it? Trailbreaker. I can't remember who else was in that. Uh, yeah. Like it the just, like didn't show up. Alicons and fast track. No, well, that I don't was know Megatron if they had those too? guys. That was Megatron and the Quintessons yeah. were the Voyagers from that, that time frame. I, I, 
I always chalk that up to COVID to like shipments just not getting, you know, out when they were supposed to and things just getting lost in the mix. So I, I chalked that wave definitely up to COVID not getting things out the way they should have. Maybe it wasn't fast track or Alec. Was it run about? Well, I, I, I thought I, I you think had the other thing was is that wave. Yeah, that was like the summer wave, like the wave three. And so, yeah, like it, it, it got really delayed. And then by the time it actually came out, I think the next wave was ready to come out. So like most of the stores like didn't even get that wave. So yeah, I to, yeah. put, to put two eighty four dudes in that wave and then have that wave not be well distributed was harsh. Yeah, run amok, I guess, was in there too. So yeah, I had mix um, all my battle charger names. I, I had my target pre orders cancelled and I think I had to pay a little bit more for Trailbreaker and Sunstreaker. Like yeah. like maybe five bucks over retail. Oh yeah, that so. was that wave where uh there was like a buy one get one half off or sale at yep. Target or whatnot yep. that we all yes. got and whatnot. So and then certain like mine didn't get mine shipped. Um but I know a lot of other people's got theirs canceled. Yeah, mine didn't come from Target. They came from I think I was an Amazon boy on that one. It was on our pulse. Yeah. Hard to remember these days. A year ago. Yeah. I, I still never saw a Quintesson or Earthrise Megatron either. in person. And and I canceled my Quintesson order once I got the Pit of Judgment set. I'm like, I don't I don't need one right. light gray Quintesson and one dark gray Quintesson. Yeah. And and honestly, like that Earthrise Megatron's not all that great in my in my opinion. Like I like the G two one, um, but the original one, like I don't know. I mean, I'll just take the Siege one over that personally. But I mean, obviously, if you like to have different Megatrons and all that, you know, it's it's a good one to have. But yeah, if you want them to kind of look like the G one robot and not turn into his G one alt mode, then that's the great tank to have. How did we get here? I don't know. I don't know. Apparently, we just like to be. I don't remember how we got here. Entire yeah. time. So, this is Red Alert and Robot mode. mode. <laughs> ah, Christian's already got him. So, yep. so yeah. He's he's clean. He's, he's very, very clean. Yeah, yeah, I would say almost too sparse of of decal work. It would be my biggest complaint. The red they used for both the painted part of his head and the plastic colors here for his limbs is perfect. It's fantastic. It looks it's so good. It's ex- yeah. It's bright, just like the show red. It's um, Love that. yeah, definitely like so the the older one, uh, the siege one, like definitely had like a darker kind of brick red, and like this is just a, a much like brighter red. Oh yeah, yeah. I would, I would say like candy apple red would be sort of how I would describe it, where it's yeah. got that sort of you know like like it, a hint of pink, just a little hint of pink in there, like a. a, a you know, so it's not like Crayola crayon red. Um, it's just a slight bit lighter than that. I mean, here I've got the, the chug. I don't have the, the siege um, red alert, but I've got the chug one here with some add on parts. So that's why he might not look uh, exactly the same. But but you can see again, you know, the height difference, you know, clearly there between the two. Um, you know, this one with the add on parts does have the, the better red alert head. Versus the original uh, Chug release of, of Red Alert, um, but but yeah, I mean it's it's a good you know good looking robot, um, it, but it, to me it suffers from what this whole mold does is like you know he he started you know hanging out with Danny DeVito, um, you know so it's like if if, if Sunstreaker and, and in this case Sideswipe, all those is Red Alert, but they share molds. If Sunstreaker and Sideswipe are twins, then then Sunstreaker is Arnold and and Sideswipe is Danny DeVito in this case. Um, I don't think that's true. I mean, it's it's exaggerating, but he is he, he he's he's squat. You know, if we compare him to the Sunstreaker, you know, again, it's not you know this isn't uh, you know Sideswipe and Sun and and um, Sunstreaker. But Red Alert being, you know, the first time we're getting the Earthrise mold of this, 
um, yeah, you can see, you know, and we're not, this is not the first time we've been able to compare these two that the height is, is, you know, fairly different. And then again, you know, with the, with the width, you can see how much wider red alert is there than, than Sunstreaker. So a, a, exaggeration to say that, you know, Arnold versus Danny DeVito. Um, but he is a, a, a very, he's not as lithe looking as, as he has been maybe in the cartoon model or in previous toy releases. I mean, I do think the new chest like looks a little bit thinner than the old one. I mean, not exactly, but just just maybe a hair. So it's like almost at least on red, he's supposed to have the the bulkier chest. Sideswipe, you're right; it needs to be a little bit skinnier, and this is what we're going to get for sideswipe. But for red, he's a little, yeah. bit, a little bit wider. Yeah. For cartoon model, for toys. So, so again, Lucas, I don't have the Earthrise and Siege mode uh, version. Is the head exactly the same in both? Um, I believe the head. Yeah, the head looks like it's exactly the same. Um, the only difference is, is the reds. So, like okay. the Siege one is again that darker red all over, and it's it's interesting, like just how many deco differences. Uh, there are with this, you know, just compared to the Siege one, just like, you know, the arms and the uh, the legs, like just all the go, uh, different color choices and whatnot that they used um, is, is kind of interesting. Um, well, they, they had to go with a more realistic Earth Mode Lamborghini fire car. I mean, you know, the Earth Mode Lamborghini fire cars that you see on the street don't have as much detail as the Cybertronian mode would have. So <laughs> you're, you're right about that. It makes sense. <laughs> Exactly. I just want to see the the city or town that Red Alert is supposed to be a, a fire car for. It's just like what what are your taxes like? It's just, <laughs> just dear God. And this was the the seized one that they got out of the uh, impound. Maybe that's it. You know, it's it's like I think you know the the police department when I was a kid, their dare car was a Corvette because it was seized from a, a drug bust. Um, so maybe a similar type of thing. I think so. An, an arsonist. An arsonist had a Lamborghini that the fire department uh, confiscated. Now he fights fires rather than starts them. Yes. And I don't know if we talked about uh, in car mode, but the um, the windshield is like a. It, it's not completely clear, but it's much uh, like you can see through it. Um, yeah, it's kind of smoky. It's like a smoky clear. Yeah. So. I mean, if we compare them to the masterpiece, you know, it's not that different in terms of the deco between the two. I think just with Red Alert's chest in the Earthrise mode being a little bit bigger, it just feels it, it feels a little bit like something's missing. Um, it, it's, you know, I, I think they they didn't use as as thick of a line on the Autobot symbol on Earthrise Red Alert, so that Autobot symbol gets really lost, you know, when you look at it. Um, you look at, if you look at the masterpiece, like that Autobot symbol really stands out and the Earthrise, like just looking at my screen right now, the Earthrise Autobot logo, like I can barely see it when I look at the toy. Okay. It's there, but it's, there's no real, there's not as much contrast there. And that I think makes the, the chest look like it has less detail than it really does. I mean, I'll, I'll say too that, yeah, like the, the chest decal i'm not as impressed by like i think you know just comparing it to like the masterpiece and again like whatever but um you know it i wish it was a little bit thicker and then like the paint that they used on it is not as as vibrant like i kind of like the paint on this you know better than like the than this one i don't know christian if if you disagree, but like, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. And like you said, like the Autobot symbol was a little more prominent and, and all that. So I hadn't thought of those things until you two said them, but you're both right. I think I'll throw a Reaper label onto the Autobot symbol and hope for the best there. But uh, yeah, it seems like the scoop where the, the scoop in the wind, the, Hood, thank you, geez. Scoop in the hood chest, uh, where this decal is, or not decal, whatever, 
tempo is should be bigger so that the yeah. paint operation should be bigger. Yeah. Yeah, just a little, yeah. Just a little bit. Just I a mean, bit. It's whatever. I feel like we're kind of nitpicking, but, you know, that's what we, we are. But that's the only thing we can do. We've seen you know, basically this mold like a dozen times now. That's right. fine. I still want, you know, another dozen of them because we still haven't gotten an official clamp down. Um, at Shatter Glass needs their side swipe. I'd also like to see Armada Wheeljack out of that. So keep them coming, but, you know, we've seen it a bunch. The one thing I will say with this is, like, I know we had talked about, oh, man, we're going to have to rebuy, you know, all these and, and whatever. Like, I don't feel like that this is so much different that, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Like, I like this better. I mean, this is the case of, like, every single Earthrise yep. or Kingdom I was going to mention that, too. It's the same same it's thing that we've like, been talking it's about. It's just slightly nicer. It's slightly better. It's just slightly, just, just that 10%. But I think um, you're on the right track that with the Diaclone Drive guys, you know, Tiger Track and, and Deep Cover um, and Rollback, I guess, even though he's not Diaclone Derived, I don't think I will need to do Earth Modes of them. Although if they do Earth Modes of them, I will buy them. But that's not something I'm going to clamor about. Right, right. It'll be like, nice to like... swipe specifically out of the Earth Mode because that's where he belongs. But the other guys can be, you know, the reinforcements of Cybertron stuff. I'm okay with that. Like, I kind of feel like the Jets or whatever, right? It's like once the Earth Mode Jets came out, it's like, okay, well, I definitely want these over the over the Tetra Jets. But like this, like, I don't feel like it's... It's not different enough to where it's like, oh, I definitely need, you know, the uh, the new ones of these. Like, I feel like this is pretty close um, to the other mold, so... It's definitely closer than your jet example. Like I don't, yeah. I definitely didn't need the Rainmakers and Red Wing to go into the Earth modes, but it's just, essentially it's a t entirely different mold. Some of, there's some similarities, but not like this. This is very much the same. It has a new chest and it has a new uh, leg pieces. Yeah. Other than that, it's the same thing. Right. So it's fine. I, I never it got Siege before. Red Alert. Um, I sold my Siege Sideswipe. Uh, I've got deep cover is the only one of the siege Lamborghini modes that I have. Um, you know, I, I've got side swipe coming with the box set from Amazon with, um, uh, Skywarp Eagle. Um, you know, I, I don't mind having two of that mold at that point in time, but for some reason, like I shouldn't say for some reason, I know the reason, like I've got all, the tetra jets i've got all the earth mode seekers to me there's like more of a precedence for having an armada of seekers in all the colors maybe i just mm -hmm. like the jets more than the car modes but i you know i'm not getting that many of the autobot cars in all the different colors um the dotsons yeah i'm getting most of those but the uh, the Lamborghinis, you know, I'm just like, meh, no, not. I mean, maybe I'm just not as you know a fan of the mold. Um, but it's uh, it, it's something that I'm gonna have when all is said and done. One one siege mold Lamborghini and two Earthrise mold Lamborghinis, unless they come out with something else that really wows me. I just get the sense that they might try to do clamp down out of the Earth mode. And then I would be annoyed because they he wouldn't fit with deep cover. Yeah. yeah. But I made my own custom clamp down, so I guess I'm okay there. Yeah, it. I like I said, I would buy, I would rebuy the others in the Earth mode if they decided to do them. But I'm okay if they don't. It's not different enough for me to be like, yeah, gosh, I just wish I had an Earth mode Tiger Track. Because I do like Tiger Track, but it's, he's not top of list for me. I, he is represented with a good figure that I like, and I can be okay with that. Yeah. What One of the things I will say is if you're just going to keep your toys in robot mode, they don't look that different. I mean, if you had a, you know, a Siege and Earthrise in the robot modes, especially looking at the front... There's very little difference. The chests do have a little bit of difference to them, but that, that's 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 it. And, and even with the chest differences because of the different paints, it's hard to really you know say like, oh yeah, definitely definitely different remold there. The cars look different. 
same silhouette, obviously, but this is not like what we saw with the, the Dotsons where Earthrise Prowl and Siege Prowl look distinctly different from each other in robot and vehicle mode. This is this is a a relatively minor remold. Um, yeah. Since it is a minor remold like that, I think it brings up my point again that Siege was a waste. Because it could have just made this the whole time and it would have looked nice. But Christian, then they wouldn't have all that extra money of yours. <laughs> You're right. And I guess if that provided them the fuel to add beasts in a kingdom or to make this out of kingdom or, you know, do whatever, that's fine. But I'm still no annoyed by it. Yeah. No, I, it's, it's, it's not a trick they're going to be able to pull again anytime soon. Good. Yeah, because if, if they start a, a new line and it's like all these Cybertronian molds of G1 characters, and it's like, ah, I got a feeling if I wait a year or two, I'll get the uh, Earth modes of those guys, huh? What do you, what do you, what am I bet that's going to happen? So, yeah, this is, this is a, a trick they pulled, and Hasbro pulled it very well. Um, but again, it's, it's not a trick they can pull off them. I'll always appreciate a good shared tooling or a shared engineering. I think that's a good way to, to save money and to get really good engineering into multiple lines. I fully support that. I know a lot of people don't. I do. I think it's awesome. Just don't do this again, please. Yeah. Do Tony, it right Tony the first says time. says that he actually prefers Siege, Ratchet, and Ironhide. Um, well, good for to, him. Uh, I'm glad. To the Earth modes. And I... I don't know. I can't decide which one I like better. Like the only one I definitely like better, I know, is like I like the Siege Megatron a little bit better than the uh, Earthrise one. But so, you know, I can't say there's a single Siege figure that has an Earthrise or Kingdom counterpart that I like more in Siege. Smokescreen. Nope. Absolutely I, for me, not. me personally, I like. Oh. I do enjoy the Smokescreen. Siege mode. I think that's a cool car. Um, and whether it's smoke screen or blue streak, not as much prowl, but smoke screen and blue streak, I think look really cool and sleek with that siege kind of race car, you know, mode that they have. And I think it looks cleaner than the earth, than the earth rise mold does. Going to half join you there and say that the only one that's close for me would be barricade. Yeah, I was going to say Barricade. Yeah. I actually like Barricade better, the Siege one. Yeah. Pretty and, and, and I think that's that that one probably is easier because you don't have as much attachment to an Earth mode right. Barricade. Um, so. It's mostly about the purple wheels for me. <laughs> yeah. Those purple yeah, wheels are cool slick. Too. <laughs> yeah, but I just I enjoy that, that sleek Cybertronian race car mode that they have. I think the Datsun or not even Dotsons anymore with the Earthrise mode. I think those are nice, but and I enjoy all three of those, but I think the uh, if, if I had to say like which was better in, in Earthrise versus Siege, that's the one that I would point to. Me Megatron is another one, um, but it's it's a short list for given how many figures they did. Yeah. Um, I, Tony was saying for the Ironhide and Ratchet, he couldn't get past the feet. Uh, and, and I mean, yeah, it doesn't look great in alt mode, but I mean, for the most part, like I keep it in, in robot mode, like most of the time. And I never ended up buying upgraded feet because no one actually made reds that actually matched a hundred percent. And so I just didn't feel like doing it. So I agreed with you on that one. Close. So uh, James that. says that he didn't mind Siege, that uh, he's glad Hasbro did it, and all of Siege is just accessories for Buzzworthy B. So I, that way you can do like a diorama with the Buzzworthy B. Got it. Okay, the Origins B. I understand. I thought it was accessories for like the Origins. whole Buzzworthy line. I was like, what does no, that no, mean? Yeah. Uh, Origins B. Because I'm like, wait, that line had like old Cyberverse toys. That hot line had. Yeah, I was like, that doesn't um, make any sense. Right. Yeah. You mean the one that comes with with Spaniel? 
film. But right, yeah. this is CB. Right. This is this is what Siege should have yeah. been. We said that on the show I last know. week. Right, we this I know. We, we said that like, before. It, okay, can I say it again? Why would you waste Siege molds on stuff like the Lambos when you have Cybertronian modes that existed previously, like you know, Jazz or Wheeljack? Or you come up with something very crazy. Very different. Or come up with something crazy. Or do War Within. People love War Within. But no, they had to do basically Earth modes, but not quite. I'm excited to get Transformers, the, the Prime figures coming out that will just share, like engineering with all this stuff so then like people will be really mad because it doesn't actually look like prime it looks more like a you know half in between hey that bulkhead so what we saw looked pretty bulkheadish. yeah so okay with that we'll see but anyway not much um, to say on red he's cool yeah. he's not available right now anymore he has sold out on pulse yeah. He will show up at Walgreens probably next month sometime. It's usually around the time of TFCon, which is the end of October. So check your stores then. Yeah. And Walgreens.com has been a place where you could find those as well. You usually get like a week or so before they sell out on Walgreens.com if you don't have a Walgreens nearby. Yet. If you're not in the U.S., I forget where you got to find this dude at. I also do not remember that information. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, he's neat. We've essentially seen him before. I like the colors on this one better. Yeah. I like the earth detailing on this more. But uh, if you're like, eh, I like the one I have, you may not need to upgrade. But if you if you really need the earth mode and you like these colors better, go for it. Yep. I agree. Uh, book club this week is going to be more than meets the I 47. So, uh, that will be on the TF talk, uh, discord. Um, so on Sunday night at nine 30 Eastern, eight 30 central. So check that out. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Any, anything else we want to say or. I mean, if you want to see people talking about a brand new toy, go back and watch TFYLP from Monday because it was a whole, what, almost two hours about, you know, a brand new toy that we just got revealed. So we're getting new molds. Just, Victory just, Saber, right? So. Yeah. Not, not all of them are new molds. So, so we, we have to, in order for us to get new molds, we have to sit through some remolds and repaints. Yeah. It's okay. Their remold repaint game has never been stronger. I, I agree. So, all right. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks to everyone in the chat. Uh, Randall, Tony. Um, so yeah. James. Thanks, guys. James. Oh, and James. Yep. So, thank you, guys, and we will see you next week.